No, 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 why, why? Are you ready to build some enclosures? As you see, the silicone gun is locked and loaded. Although I'm kind of low on silicone, but don't worry because we have full tube here ready to be used. But I think what we have here, it will be enough. Enough for this project. Here are the glass panels and these are the tubs of tarantulas that we are making those enclosures for. You see one, two, three. One is Nanduchromatus female, the other one is Gramostola heringi, and the last one is Gramostola acteon. Three young females, but before we start with enclosure build, let's feed them because Building a glass enclosure, it lasts, it takes few days to do that because you need to silicone one side, then let it cure, then you need to silicone the other side and let it cure, and then silicone the third side and let it cure. And I usually let it cure for at least 12 hours, so you can do the math. That's why there will be a lot of time jumps in this video. But don't you worry about that. First, let's feed them. They are all here eagerly waiting for their roach. You see, we will start with this acton. These are the roaches and my tweezers. We will need that. One dubia coming right up. Yes! Always hungry and always ready for some awesome takedowns. And we always get immediate movement. Next one. Ooh! Same crazy fast reaction, although... Did she get it or she just stopped? Not sure. Oh, I can hear the cracking here. Sweet fang action. That's what we like. But what is happening here? It seems that she actually stopped and didn't, didn't actually grab the roach because she is just standing. In the meantime, let's feed this girl with one male dubia. One male dubia for you. Oh, yes. Very good, very nice. Even though technically this is not a feeding video, we are off the very... Oops, I accidentally blowed some air on her. So even though this isn't a feeding video, technically not a feeding video, we are off the good, good start. Something happening here? What are you waiting for? Oh, yes. She took her sweet time, but it was well worth it, you see? Now she got it. Sweet. Look, both of them in the same shot. You know what would be super cool? A double happy dance. <laughs> Although I don't think that we will be so lucky. Oh, we actually have a happy dance here. The Nando Hromatus female is showing off. Yeah, there you go, girl. Move that booty. Yes, yes, yes. And the happy dance number two is starting. <laughs> Look at these sweet moves. Now all we need is you to start happy dancing. But okay, okay, we are here to build some enclosures. That is why we are here. Feeding and happy dancing, that's a secondary this time. Now that you know for who we are building these enclosures, let me explain you the tactic. This is one of my older projects and it is actually a, a more fancier CD enclosure because the dimensions are identical to the CD enclosure. They are, I think, 15 times 17 times... Is this the same? No, it's not. 15, 15, 17. Yeah, I think that's the one. So as you see, we have two enclosures and they are stackable. And this enclosure is actually a top part of the bottom one. On top you have a lid that you can just lift. And that can actually be, if, you, I, if I remove this, I can actually use this lid to close it off. You see, it is the same. I can make a bunch of enclosures that can be independent, like this, but I wanted these enclosures to be stackable, so that's why I have this system in place. I'm really satisfied how this turned out, and I decided that I want to do the same thing, but with slightly bigger and slightly more wider enclosures. The dimensions of new enclosures, this is the side panel, you see, and this is the bottom. This will be the new enclosure, and if you compare it with this plastic tub, it is slightly bigger but much taller, therefore I will be able to use more substrates, like this amount of substrate, a lot of substrate. So that's the basic idea and also those three, those three enclosures will be stackable just like these are. But as you see I have two holes for ventilation, unlike only one on each side on this enclosure, because these are bigger so they need more ventilation. And also one thing that I learned from this enclosure, the ventilation should be placed more up, therefore I can put more substrate. Logical, right? But when I was building these, 
I wasn't thinking about that. So this will be even better, more improved. But first I need to do something because I need a 90 degrees angle for silicone in the sides at 90 degrees. I will use this enclosure. So I can just put it like that, put this here and just put the other glass like that. You will get it in a second. I need to put this tape because I don't want silicone to stick on the, on the table. Side number one. I was also thinking if this turned out to be to be actually good, I was thinking that I can maybe sell them as uh, DIY kits. They should be quite easy to assemble, so I could just whoops, so I could just ship the glass that is cut to appropriate size with all the holes and everything. Just a thought. I don't know. These are the side panels, and they are slightly bigger. And these are the bottom one. Now I need to put silicone on this edge and just press it here against this glass. Super easy, at least in theory. That is number one. And glass number three. There, now you see how everything is siliconed, all the edges. Now we need to wait for it to cure with one time jump. The first part is cured, but now to install the second side, I need to be extra careful extra gentle because this bond it is not extremely strong there are ways to make it stronger but i'm confident in my abilities hope it won't be my big mistake so now i'm just positioning them on the edge of the table so that way i will be able to apply the silicone on this edge as i said extremely delicate situation but before applying the silicone i should prepare the sides The second siliconing, it can begin. Now wish me luck. Uh, so far so good. Yes. Just making sure that everything is aligned all right. You need to have a straight line. You don't want one glass to be outside of the other. If they are cut correctly, they should be the same width. So that means they need to be aligned. They are ready for another time jump and even though it's the same day, I'm kinda tight on schedule. So this will be a risky move because the silicone is still not 100% cured. So this is a risky move, but in order to finish this video on time, I need to act fast. Please stay in one piece. Oh, yes. This is actually in my way. I need enough space for this next step. Now second one, risky flip number two. Oh, yes. And the third, last one. Usually all, all fails happen on the last one because you get too comfortable thinking that you have all covered and then you get ahead of yourself, but not today. First these smaller pieces, they are my guiders. You will see later why is this important. The sides needs to be flush with this all the way down like that. Let's apply silicone. If you want your enclosure to be waterproof, not waterproof. If you want your enclosure not to leak water, then you need to be extra careful. You don't want to miss the spot because if there is a part where silicone is missing, you will get leakage there. It should be obvious, right? And don't worry if you use too much silicone on some spot. Once it's cured, you can easily use some scalpel to cut it off or cutting knife, it's not that important now. Now you can use a finger to fix the parts if you missed something. And also a tip, don't use the water to remove silicone from your finger. That won't really help, just use some napkin. That's the best tactic. Now the glass. Make sure that everything is aligned and put something heavy on top. Kinda heavy one and last one this should be all right so another time jump and actually did one step without recording it i also added the other side you see one two three so the enclosures are now 
almost complete now all that we need to do we need to make a lid for top enclosure and also the top enclosure and the middle enclosure need to get one piece of glass like this so it fits inside of the other enclosure so it can be stackable you will see this enclosure will be top enclosure this one will be middle enclosure and this one will be bottom enclosure so on this one we can actually put the, these little pads that go on the on the bottom side so that way the enclosure won't get damaged when when you are dragging it across the surface there this one is now basically complete we can put it here now this piece if it's going here we will silicone it like this and that way when you flip the enclosure and put it on top of this enclosure it won't slip you know it will keep it fixated on top of this enclosure but there is one step that we need to do before that i was a bit sloppy with the silicone job so there is a lot of silicone sticking sticking outside you see but that is not the problem all that you need to do you need to take one cutting of scalpel the part that goes into a cutting knife and with that you can just cut the excess silicone without any problem and that way you will make the surface all nice and smooth now to add the silicone i will just put a few dots one four five that should be enough there you see now we have the edge this edge will fit inside of this enclosure that's the basic idea. Now we will do the same thing for this top enclosure. Silicone. Bloop. Oops. <laughs> In the glass. Steady. Arranging all the edges and pressing firmly. Make sure everything is aligned perfectly. Not perfectly, but okay. And the last thing that we need to do it is the top lid. The principle is the same. You flip that and put it on top and it fits nicely. Done. Ta-da. That would be it. Oh, no. I almost forgot. Ventilation. We need to add the ventilation. The procedure is the same. I just put silicone on the side of this ventilation circle or thingy and just put it inside of the hole. That's simple. But oops, I only have six and I need 12. My math was amazing, but I can do that tomorrow. I have them at home, but I hope that I have enough. That's the question. Why I took only six? <laughs> Anyhow, let's do a time jump and everything is complete. You see enclosure number one, enclosure number two, enclosure number three. All of them complete, but there is one problem. And you will see it after I set this enclosure and rehouse the tarantula inside. First tarantula that we are going to rehouse it is the Gramostola Iheringi and I need to give a shout out to a subscriber because if you are following me on the Instagram I posted a picture of this one with the caption guess the species we know we'll get a shout out in Friday's video and the quickest with the correct answer was Starnatio Starnatio well but yeah shout out to you you were the quickest and a lot of people thought that this is Brachypelma vagans it is similar indeed but the legs have kind of bluish tint, you see. The next one, Gramostola Acteon, she looks even more like Brachypel Wagas. But this little girl, she also resembles it really good. So let's set up the enclosure, get the substrate, put the hide in and get her moving. I have a lot of substrate. You know that in last rehouse video, I actually ran out of it. So I bought a huge bag of, of potting soil and I already had a lot of cocoa fiber. So now I mixed it all up and Voila! Will this be enough? Uh, I will put more. More substrate! Especially when we press it down. Yeah, more, more. This will be five. A lovely piece of cork bark. Just buried inside. There, now there is plenty of digging space, you see? So much digging space, I love it. Let's move the tarantula. She will now most likely bite the straw. Yeah, you see? She's checking it out like, hmm, is this food? No, it is not food, but I need you to climb up. She also moves similar like Brahipelma wagons. <laughs> go, go, climb up. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, there you go. Sweet. No, 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 chill, chill, chill. No, 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 please, please, please. This was totally unnecessary. Hey. Climb on my hand then. No, no, no. Not there. No, 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 not there. Continue now, go. Uh, she doesn't like my... She doesn't like my hand. <laughs> what now? I really need to get a catch cup, huh? 
Yep. There. Now be calm, please. And we will work this out easily. No, 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 no. Why? Why? She's really giving me headaches. Now. I need two hands. And the filming crew. <laughs> Chill, chill, chill. Oh. Oh, oh. Come on. No, 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 no. What are you doing? Just chill. Please. Oh, she pooped. Oh my God, look. <laughs> I think I just missed it. <laughs> That's why she was so grumpy. She just wanted to poop. No. Stop with the movement. Please. Please. Oh. Look how awesome this enclosure is. Come on, you can go under the cork bark. Yeah, no, no. I really need to close it off. No, wrong side. You see, this is the problem that I was talking about. Oh, barely. The bottom part of the glass that it is going inside of this enclosure. I had to make it like one millimeter narrower. Then it would be fit perfectly, but now I struggle to close it and open it. But this surely looks nice now, right? Let's set up the second enclosure. And then I will show you how hard it is to open this one. I will most likely just order a smaller glass, just a tiny bit narrower, and then replace them. Because this is not really practical now. You will see, I can barely open it. What, you don't like your enclosure? Come down, go in the cork bark. Cork bark. Now this will, oh, what have I done here? I didn't even notice that I dropped so much substrate. Now this will be tricky because this is tall, you see? Actually, now I see that this is maybe not the most practical design. I should have done this immediately. Maybe a separate lid for every enclosure. It would be smarter, definitely. Let's see how she will react. She actually did some, some webbing. Hey, 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 I have a nice enclosure ready for you. Yeah, you're on the right track. She's definitely more calmer than Ikringi. There. What do you say about that? This is a nice enclosure, right? If you come here, you have a nice height. Look how deep it is. I cannot even see the end. So dark and deep. You will love it, I promise. Okay, but it works. Definitely works. Maybe just for two enclosures, not three. Now when I'm looking at it, three enclosures is an overkill. But I will definitely order more glass so I can make a separate lid for every enclosure and make it a bit smaller so they can actually fit. Now the last enclosure. And the last enclosure is ready for tarantula, the nandochromatus female. If you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm taking off the label and putting it on the new enclosure. Hey, are you ready for the rehouse? And this is the species that I wouldn't really put on my hand because they can be bitey. Hopefully she will also be cooperative. Hello, immovable object. I need you to move. No, not to, not to put thread postures. No, definitely not that. Just go over the over the edge. I'm so sad that you cannot actually see the thread postures. Happy tarantula, woo! I will do it the safest way. Mind your legs. This is the safest way and the easiest. Your new home. Enjoy it. That is an order. Yes, she looks sweet inside. We need to put this enclosure on top of this. I hope that will work out. Actually, I will close her off because I will put this lid on top and then this whole enclosure is going on top of that. I sure did make this more complicated than it had to be. But this lid, look how it fits. Unlike the actual enclosures. Now, please. Don't move a muscle. Ah, yes. 
Great success! <laughs> now check it all out. It seems like just a big pile of dirt, but I actually like how it looks. It definitely saves space, but not really practical. Oh no, no. Improvements are coming, definitely. When you have smaller enclosures, like the one that I showed you that are the dimensions of the CD enclosure, it is much easier to manage and move them around. But when you have big enclosures that are heavy, definitely not practical as I thought. But as a single enclosure, I think that the design is sweet. What do you think if you only have like this top with this separate lid? I think it would be really sweet and it is not expensive to make. But I definitely need separate lids, yeah. I definitely need those. So now, what do you think about this project? Do you think it's worth making enclosures of this size? Give me your opinion and feedback. Besides that, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, thumbs it up and comment something. If you want to support this channel more, there's a Patreon page. If you are new to this channel, make sure to subscribe. I upload every Monday and Friday. So see you again soon. Bye. Bye.